Hello, uh, welcome to Steph's Tutorials. I'm Steph the Video Guy. And we're going to look at Sony Vegas. Uh, we're using Sony Vegas Pro 12. And we're going to look at how to create credits, how to create a credit roll. Now, um, you, everyone's seen at the end of films how uh, the credits will roll upwards. You'll see the, the star's names, maybe the director's name first, the star's names, then all of the, the tech cast and everyone and they're all running upwards like this. Well, it's really simple to do in Sony Vegas and I'm going to show you how. First I'm going to, I will, let's go create a new file. This is set to 1080i, so let's set it to 72030p just because uh, it's nice progressive HD. Uh, and then I'm going to drop just any file down here and you could drop any instance of any file down here. This is one of the Kickstarter's uh, Kickstarter videos that uh, that I did. It's called the Guns of Shadow Valley. They're uh, creating a uh, an online an online comic book, and they're putting putting it together in a big package. So, but I put this together. Yeah, you can see it's a bunch of animation and whatnot. I'm going to uh, just show that uh, um, I'm going to show exactly how to put credits at the back of this. Let's go to Media Generators and select Credit Roll. Now there's a bunch of different types here, and I can explain this. This is plain scrolling on black, scrolling on transparent faded in and out. If you can see that, it's it's uh, kind of cool. Uh, zoomed in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. This one's scrolling on the left side. If you wanted to have some uh, little screen right here, that might be a good idea. So try timed. So zoom, zoom in, in and out. It's got a wipe. And scrolling backwards, so that's scrolling up and down. I'm going to scroll on black just because that's the easiest for me right now all right so I'm going to I just double click to select the whole thing and I'm just gonna m pop this over because then I'll be able to see my preview we can cover up Explorer right now but here we go and we can see and this is what we've got so let's say the name of this is guns all uh, right, let's make it capital guns. All right. Let's just see. Oh, there's our preview. And as you can see, as I scroll through, it shows it scrolling upwards. This is the header. This is the subtitle, sub item text. This is item left and item right, item left, item right. So basically, it shows graphically what is in this list. Now let's go through this. There's a couple of things that we can do here. We can insert a row, delete current row, import text from a file. So in, import text from a file is really interesting so that way you would be able to import a, a, a huge cast list and it would pop up directly into here. Export all sorts of options about uh, how to import and export. It's quite handy that uh, you would be able to do that in here. Um, but I'm going to go through this. This is the credits text area. I'm going to quickly go through this. If I mouse down on this guy right here, you can see that a sub bar pops up. Header, sub item, or columned items here and it's already selected just because they wanted to be able to give you an option down here so let's say I want to put uh, something in between these two I wanted a little bit of room I can just select this control C control V and it'll copy it I can just go like that as you can see it created that spot for us to have a little bit of room now, sub-item text, we could add 
directed by Steph. Oh, Steph, the video guy. How's that? Okay. And then when we go over here, it refreshes. It was directed by Steph, the video guy. Um, pros. And then here we got guns. And I, it's just in, in, um, in caps right now, but uh, some guy. And then I just select here and go other guy. And I can keep doing that. And I can select whichever one I want or insert. It's just once I select something, it creates the line and bang. It's down on the line. There we go. Some guy, other guy. We can just go like this and go control C. And I'm just pasting it in. And it just, so it goes. Now, the thing about this, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Basically, if we have more text in here, it has to fit within this event. So it goes faster. You'll see that it's going really fast. Now, if I select this and I just drag it, it repeats. You see, the, here's a re little repeat indicator right here. And we don't really want it to repeat because, well, credits repeating is a bad idea. So what I've done is I select it, hit Control or Command, say Control, and drag it over. Now, I could drag it for a long way, but I'm not going to. Now you notice that the amount of text that's in here fit within this event still, but it's nice and slow. But it converts it completely over to 2997, so there's no jitteriness. So it's an interesting concept to get through, but that's the way this works. Now it works like any other event as well. So you can do generated media, um, you can change it through this, you can uh, add a pan crop effect so you can zoom in on it. So if I went like this, you see how it's zooming in my preview? Just going to restore that. Or we can add other effects. We can do film effects, we can do cookie cutter, any of those effects. I'm going to go through the video event effects. Perhaps uh, not one at a time, but uh, definitely I'll go through them one day because uh, there are uh, so much to choose from. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, I'm going to go into the properties of this. Now you notice that as I selected this, you, there's three different types here. We're on header for guns. And as you'll notice as we go here, it's a different type of font. It's, it's thicker. Now why, why would it be thicker? Let's go right over here. I'm going to just move this down to give us a little bit more room. This is uh, the position for our credits. So it'll show us how far from the left, how far from the right. Basically, you could stretch it out because it centers these on, on the uh, divide. So, so you can move it all the way out. The reason that it's automatically in like this is because it wants to avoid those um, overlays. So basically, your your uh, Air, your dead areas on the edge of the screen that wants to avoid that. So here we've got a time sequence, in, out. Um, we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's go over to style. So here's the, the header style. It's an aerial. It's a 20. We can increase that up to 26. There we go. Guns. And it, it just previews right away. Space above, space below. It can, you know, you didn't actually have to put on that uh, dead space right there but I did but and you can select kerning where where it is oh it's in it italics now so let's bump that up to 36 now it's huge so you can get rid of some of that dead space guns our background color we can even get rid of the alpha or make it alpha so but of course we have nothing back there right now you know we could put a background in there let's see Let's see what kind of background we could select. Oh, there's uh, reflections in water. All right, there we go. So I put that reflections in water video in there, which is just one of the backgrounds I had lying around. 
And there you go. See, I got rid of the background, the black background, just by selecting alpha in this panel. All right, so if I selected single item, everything for single item will come up. Now, let's see, uh, it's this directed by Steph is in single item, as you can see right here. So let's change that. Uh, let's make that uh, 11. Whoa, that's tiny. Uh, let's make that 24. All right, that's good. I'm gonna make it bold. That's cool. And so let's go to dual item. Our dual item is 20. You can see crows and guns. They're capitalized, so they're a little bit bigger than these guys. But let's make it to 16. All right, yeah. So if you've got some really long names you've got to fit in there, you can just adjust it right here. Left style, right style, they're, they're, they could be independent. Tracking below, tracking space above, space below. And there you go. Background color, alpha. So that is how you make credits. Um, you'll notice that, um, oh, okay, yeah. There's our background. Bang. Another cool thing is if you're feeling really funky is that you could actually make that a mask. So you're masking the background with that credit roll. Look at that. It's pretty fun if you've got text that's big enough. Otherwise it gets kind of blurry when it, when it gets too small. But there you go. There's a credit roll in Sony Vegas 12. Thank you very much for checking in. Please subscribe. Check in again, let, let me know what sort of uh, tutorials you'd like to see. Maybe it's an effect, maybe it's uh, something else. Thanks a lot for checking in.